friends now we are going to solve a type number 4 questions on a 3 moment theorem this will be the question on a sinking of support the question asks like this analyze the beam by using 3 moment theorem and there will be the given the support sinking here is a given support B is sinked by 5 mm we know that for solving the 3 moment theorem there will be the fast step ok we solve this question first of all for the cal simple calculation just we have to convert the all unit in the standard form here is mm here is centimeter to the power 4 and here the kilonewton per meter square just convert this all unit in the standard form that is kilonewton or meter so we are converting support support b is sinks by 5 mm just we are converting this mm into meter that is we know 5 1 mm equals to 10 to the power minus 3 meter just it is minus 0 0.005 meter why negative sign negative sign is just because of due to support b sinks downward not upward if there's any of the support is sink upward that is deflect upward we take here the positive sign that is ea just convert this all centimeter to the power 4 in a, in meter to the power 4 and here newton per mm square into kilo newton per mm square and multiply this because we want ei so just by simple calculation we get the 19.53 into 10 to the power 3 kilo newton meter square it is the standard form okay now we are going to solve a three moment theorem we know that the first step for the free bending moment free bending moment is nothing but the bending moment created due to the load that is the name 3 just consider this span AB as a simply supported at A and B and the moment produced that is free bending moment is just a moment produced by this point load ok we know that the bending moment at E which is nothing but the bending moment created due to the point load it is PAB by L P is nothing but the force that is the point load which is applied on a span AB so by, by simple calculation we just put the value that is P A B by L A is nothing but the distance from one end and B is nothing but the distance from other end here that is P means load is the distance of point load from A and 4 is the distance of point load from B just put this value and we get 106.67 kN meter this is for span AB this similar procedure is done for the span BC and for span CD. Here we are now in the BC there will be the UDL. UDL and we know that the free bending moment created due to UDL is WL square by 8. W is nothing but the load that is kN meter here given here and L is the length. So just directly put this value that is W l square by 8 we get the 62.5 kN meter here's for span bc the point load and point load is produce the bending moment that is p a b by l a is nothing but the distance from one end and b is nothing but the distance from other just put it value here that is p load a b by l is equals to 72 kN meter we are completing our first step on solving 3 moment theorem. Now we are moving towards the free bending moment diagram. That was our second step for solving 3 moment theorem. In this, we know that it just the representation of what we value we are calculated here. Just represent that value in the diagrammatical form. Okay, we know that the free bending moment due to the point load is just a triangle. Here the free bending moment diagram because of due to UDL it's a parabola and just represent the value what we are calculated here in this diagrammatical form that is triangle and bending moment at E is 106.67 kN meter just represent value here in this step we are have to just calculate the area of this bending moment diagram and their centroid from a left and right end here this is the area of triangle 
that is we know half into base into height after putting value half into 6 into 106.67 we directly get the area that is 320.01 meter square XL is nothing but the distance <coughs> XL is nothing but the distance of this triangle from left end and XR is nothing but the distance of this triangle from right end as we know XL equals to A means the distance of that point load from a left end that is 2 plus L by 3 just by directly putting value we get this 2.67 this is the centroid of this triangle from left end and the similar procedure is used for the right end that is B means here is a 4 plus L by 3 directly we get the value 3.33 the similar procedure is used for the remaining two diagram here we have to calculate the area of this parabola we know that 2 by 3 base into height it is the area of parabola just 2 by 3 best that is 5 and height 62.5 just directly put the value in your calci you get 208.33 that is a meter square excel is nothing but the center of this triangle sorry this parabola from the left and xi is nothing but distance of this centroid from the right end that we are know it is symmetric about this axis that's why the centroid is lies in between this here the length is 5 that's why centroid from left and right is at the middle that is from 2.5 meter from any of the corner this is the same what we use here area half into base into height half into base means 5 and height is 72 we get the 108 meter square xl is the distance of centroid of that triangle from the left end right we know the formula that is 2 plus l by 3 we get the 2.33 and that is 3 plus l by 3 we get the 2.61 now this we are completing our second step that is the free bending moment diagram now we are moving towards our third step that is the application of three moment theorem on this span we are considering the span abc we are know this is the equation of three moment theorem just here we are added this two term new 6 del 1 e1 i1 upon l1 plus 6 del 2 e2 i2 upon l2 this two term add in this equation just because of due to the sinking of support in the earlier cases the sinking of support is not given in the question and in, in this question the sinking of support is given just because of due to we are add this term on the three moment theorem equation as how to calculate now here the del the in the most of the cases the many of the people are finding difficulties in calculated this del 1 and del 2 now i am going to teach you here how to calculate it del is nothing but the deflection and here the span we are considered that is a b c so del 1 equals to nothing but the deflection at b minus deflection at a as we know the support B will be deflect by 0 0.005 meter just put this value deflection that is sinking Y is nothing but the sinking just put this value and support A is not sink that's why put here 0 just we get del 1 equals to minus 0 0.005 and it nothing but the del 2 which is equals to YB minus YC we know the value of YB that is sinking of support B it is minus 0 0.005 we directly get to del 2 that is minus 0 0.005 as we calculated the value of del 1 and del 2 here and all the remaining values that is like l1 l2 a1 x1 l1 a2 x2 l2 we calculated here and here just put this value in this equation as we are know the support a is nothing but the simply supported that's why the movement there is zero movement at a is zero just directly put the value is zero that is 2 mb plus 6 6 is the nothing but the distance that is 6 and 5 5 is l2 
सिक्स प्लस फाइव प्लस एम सी फाइव प्लस सिक्स ए वन ए वन इज थ्री ट्वेंटी पॉइंट जीरो वन एक्स वन दैट इज टू पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन अपॉन एल वन दैट इज सिक्स सो जस्ट पुट द वैल्यू हेयर सिक्स ए टू टू जीरो एट पॉइंट थ्री थ्री एक्स टू टू पॉइंट फाइव अपॉन एल वन दैट इज लेंथ फाइव इंटू सिक्स डेल वन वॉट वी कैलकुलेटेड हियर ई वन आई वन वॉट वी कैलकुलेटेड हियर वाई वाई वी कैलकुलेट कन्वर्ट दिस इन द सेम यूनिट बिकॉज हियर इफ यू आर नॉट कन्वर्टिंग दिस इन टू किलो न्यूटन मीटर स्क्वेयर इफ यू फूड डायरेक्टली वैल्यू इन न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वेयर वी गेट द रॉन्ग रिजल्ट दैट्स वाई द यूनिट कन्वर्शन इन अ स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म इज मस्ट ओके दैट इज सिक्स इंटू डेल टू डेल वन माइनस जीरो वन इंटू नाइनटीन पॉइंट सिक्स वन अपर डेल वन दैट इज सिक्स इंटू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फाइव इंटू नाइनटीन पॉइंट फाइव थ्री इंटू टेन टू दी पावर सिक्स अपॉन फाइव इक्वल्स टू जीरो दैट इज यूर जस्ट वी आर पुटिंग द वैल्यू इन दिस इक्वेशन बाय सॉल्विंग दैट इक्वेशन वी गेट द ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फाइव ट्वेंटी टू एम बी प्लस फाइव एम सी इक्वल्स टू माइनस वन टू फोर फाइव पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स Put it as equation number one. Here we are calculating equation number one. Now moving towards the span B C D. The equation is same for the bending moment theorem. Just the two terms add just because of due to deflection. Here we are calculating del one like Y C minus Y B. We know the value at Y B sinking of support B and no other support are sinking. Just put here minus. And Y B is minus of minus minus of zero point zero zero five. We get the del one positive. That is zero point zero zero five. Del two is nothing but the Y C minus Y D. So here not Y C and not Y D are sinking. That's we directly get the y, del two equals to zero. Just put the all the value in this with equation. As we know, <coughs> L L one that is Y M B. L two that is five. Here we have zero because M D M D is nothing but the simply supported, and we know at the simply support there will be the no reaction of movement. That's why we directly take here value zero. Six A one X one L one six A two X two L two plus six L one. E one I one upon L one plus zero because here del is zero equals to zero. Just solving this, we get the five MB plus twenty MC equals to minus one three eight point eight nine as a equation number two. We are solving equation number one and equation number two in our calc like simultaneous equation. We directly get the value MB equals to minus forty four point one one kilonewton meter, and the MC equals to minus fifty four point nine two kilonewton meter. Now moving towards our fourth step, that is the calculation of reaction. This step was useful for the calculation of sorry for drawing the shear force diagram. And what we calculated up to this, this is used for the diag drawing. A bending moment diagram. Okay, now moving towards the calculation of reaction. It is directly given for calculation reaction R A. Just take a moment at B. What does it mean? Let's see here. For the calculation reaction R A, just take a moment at B. Means for calculation reaction R A here, moment take B and convert this in this type. That is. Just this is R A, and span only use this span, and the moment at B we calculated. That's why like this, this equation arises. That is R A into six minus this is point eighty into four, and this is moment moment at the B. What we calculated here, just put by solving this we directly get the reaction at R A that is forty five point nine eight kilonewton. The simple this step is used for the remaining support <coughs> for the calculation of reaction there. That is for calculation R B taking moment at C. That is here for calculation the reaction at R B taking moment at C. 
for calculation reaction at rc taking moment at d for calculation of reaction rd taking moment of c likewise just we have here put the value and get the answer is that simple here we have calculated rb rd rc it is not very hard just if we have know the technique of how to just put the value we are able to solve and we are able to get the reaction at the supports now moving towards our final and the last step that is the shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram what is this this is the type of question asked in our questions hmm? this is a free bending moment diagram what we calculated earlier and this is the final bending moment diagram not a free bending moment diagram this is the bending moment diagram here this simply the three bending moment diagram draw here and the bending moment we get by solving three moment theorem bending moment moment at b and moment at c just represent that value here and join that by means of straight line here we are using the superposition principle that is here the simply of free bending moment and the bending moment calculated by using three moment theorem just mark the unequal portion that is your bending moment diagram is that simple for drawing and here the shear force diagram what the calculated we are reactions at this support by using that reaction we are able to draw this diagram we are calculated the reaction at rf that is take c here 45.98 kN. just reaction at a is upward that is 45.98 from a to point load there will be no force that is straight line from at it is point load which is acting downward that's why here that is 45.98 minus 80 we get the 34.05 minus 34.05 that's why it is below the line from point load to b there will be the more no force here the support reaction that is rb that's why it is upward it is just because of due to udl it is inclined just by representing value or by putting value we simply get the shear force and bending moment diagram so i hope you will understand this and you will solve by using this principle just uh, just remember there will be five step and by using this five step we are effectively solved the three moment term here the main thing was the analysis and drawing the shear force and bending moment if we apply the bending moment three moment theorem accurately just by putting l1 l2 del 2 we get the accurate answer and if we put the value and we know the technique of putting value for calculating the reaction we are able to draw this shear force thank you have hope you are enjoyed thank you